Now to the global launch of a gaming giant. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is hitting the stands after much anticipation. And there's speculation that it will be the biggest selling and grossing computer game ever. Stephanie Decker takes a look. The life you knew before is gone. Today, we fight to bring it back. It is back. And it's bigger, louder and apparently better than before. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is Activision's latest release and it's expected to become the fastest selling video game of all time. There's been a huge PR push in the run up to the launch and such is the anticipation that fans have queued for days to be some of the first to get their hands on it. It's the end of the campaign is what I've heard so we're going to finally get some closure on the story. We're going to find out what it's all about. The hype around the launch has attracted 15% more pre-orders than the previous record holder. That's Call of Duty Black Ops. It sold 5.7 million copies worldwide in just 24 hours last year, generating $1 billion during its first six weeks on sale. And all bets are on that Modern Warfare 3 will beat all of that. Critics say the games are too violent, but that's done nothing to dim interest. The makers promise a whole new cinematic experience and would like you to believe it's as close to a real war as you'll get from the safety of your own living room. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera. Let's discuss this now with Brian Ambrosi, who's the editor of iCronTech.com. He joins me now live from Detroit. Thanks for joining us, Brian. First off, there'll be parents out there whose maybe older children want this game and they're not quite sure if they should buy it. So explain to us how it works. Well, first of all, uh, a lot of the laws are set up so that um, children can't technically purchase the game unless their parents buy it for them. Um, so the children who want to play the game will definitely have to clear that with mom and dad first. That's, that's true, but um, the trailer alone Modern has... Warfare 3 is... Please carry on. I was going to say that Modern Warfare 3 is definitely a, a violent game. Uh, people have been talking about that, and, uh, you know, but it, it's also a narrative and a, and a, and a story and a, and a deeply involved game, so, um, you know, whether or not the themes of violence and war are the primary focus of the game is really, uh, really up for debate. And despite the controversy, you don't think that it glorifies violence and warfare, do you? I don't think it glorifies violence any more than any other form of art does. Um, you know, cinema and books and, uh, and poetry and, and theater, they, they don't necessarily glorify violence. They instead uh, bring it to uh, uh, the form of consumption that people can, can gra grasp onto and understand. The trailer alone has had some 4 million hits on YouTube. And for those of us who don't understand gaming culture, what is the appeal? Well, the appeal is that, um, you know, in a world where we are surrounded by uh, news of, of warfare and violence, it's, it's a way for people to understand and, and connect with, uh, with that part of, uh, of current events that, that they really didn't have access to before. It's a way to, uh, to engage people. And uh, obviously they're, they're very interested. People do want to be engaged this way. You may have touched on this already now. We mentioned in the report earlier that the Black Ops version made, what, one billion in the first six weeks. I believe that's more than the GDP of Liberia. So what's the winning formula for the company behind it? Uh, the winning formula definitely so far has been realism and uh, quality of production uh, as far as voice acting and uh, graphics. And uh, it's beneficial in, uh, to other art forms too because they push the state of the art uh, to you know, greater heights uh, in, and we see it in things like cinema. Brian Ambrosi talking to us from Detroit, thank you.